So today we're looking at this new horn I just installed from Halford. So it's a ring twin lorry horn, removing a snap bolt from the rear hub with Ben, thankfully, and also installing some new acorn style nuts on the wheels to replace the old rusted steel one. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Few things to do today. I've got four of these boxes and I'll show you exactly what that is in a minute. I installed these flanges the other day and this bolt has been snapped off for a while. So I'm gonna take it to Ben and uh, he's gonna drill it out for us hopefully and uh, sort that out as well. So that should be good. Make sure that's still tight, you can come off. All right, let's have a look at this box. So this came from 4x4tires.co.uk. I just bought these. So here you go, that was difficult getting it open with one hand. This is the sort of acorn dome style. Uh, as you can see, it would just go to a normal steel wheel, but it has a sort of lo much longer sort of profile. It's very similar. It's been painted though, and also doesn't have the hole on the front. So if you go down here, you can see my current setup, which is plastic covers on old style nuts there. These are good. You know, they work perfectly. That's what you're meant to have, but these get lost, people, maybe in garages when they replace the tires or whatever, they lose them. And it's also really difficult to get them off. You have to get a screwdriver in to remove these. So that's not very fun. So what I thought of doing, instead of having these rusty ones exposed, mismatching, go for these and they look pretty cool. First things first is taking these plastic covers off. Not too difficult. Now I'm gonna crack uh, two or three of them off and then replace them and then do the rest. So there you go, that's pretty easy. Uh, the way it looks already, obviously the rest of the wheel is really dirty. Soon gonna have HD flanges on the front here. But look at that, really like the way they look. And hopefully they don't rust as well. That's really cool, loving them. They're all on, that looks really nice. Really quick, easy, simple upgrade, cost effective, and I think it makes a world of difference to the look, and also the speed of being able to take wheels and tires off. So if you're off road, let's say, and you're down a flat, and you need to put a spare on these, you don't have to take the plastic caps off, and they protrude a lot further, so if there's mud in there, you get them out. So just look good and work better as well. So just a few miles to uh, BHE Autos. Ben's gonna extract that bolt for me from the hub. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Not quite good enough to do that yet, but maybe one day. Hopefully he can help us. I'm also gonna have a look at the diff cover I installed the other day. And hopefully talk that up to the right spec. So we're good. Two matching holes, blue defenders here. Ben's just gonna take that one in for me. I like this, it's for sale actually, 60,000 miles, look at that. Anyone want a 90? You can see that red ARB cover there. That's really cool. Listen to that, grunt. <laughs> There you go, look, easy peasy. <laughs> So one other thing Ben's doing now, he's gonna uh, just tack up the little uh, bracket for the brake hose, because you can't bolt it on the ARB one, so that's gonna be good. 
as he says you don't want a uh, any brake lines to be sort of flapping around so this is good good that you can get on this There you go then, a couple of bits done by Ben there. Just squeeze me in this afternoon. Yeah, definitely check Ben out if you uh, are local to South Devon or even if you're not and you wanna travel, <laughs> definitely check him out. BHE Auto is a great guy. He just uh, tacked up that uh, brake line sort of bracket there and also took that bolt out, which was a doddle apparently. So that's really good. And now head home and uh, yeah, do the rest of it. Another thing I wanna talk about is the horn. I'm not going to press it now because it's so loud. I don't want to disturb it in the neighbours. But we're going to have a little look at where it goes. And uh, I haven't got any footage of me installing it, unfortunately. But I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about it and show you where I mounted it. So it's actually a bit of a relocation. What I did was the old one went on this little mountain there. You can see a little hole there. Obviously, they sit there right at the front, exposed to everything. Water, mud, anything you want. Mine was actually secondhand because the first one broke. It was off a BMW and I thought it was going to be a bit of a better note, a bit more resilient, but no. Filled with water just like the other ones did and sounded awful. Could hardly even hear it from the inside and I don't know what you could hear from the outside. Pretty much nothing. So I opted to go for one which is slightly more substantial. So this is a ring twin horn. It's got a picture of a lorry on the outside, uh, so <laughs> that's going to be a bit better. Uh, yeah, as I said before, it uses mains power from the car rather than just the two cables that for the old horn so you have to put a relay in there as well which is pretty easy so i chose here to mount it because it's obviously slightly protected from the front when you're wading here the highest point in the engine bay you can sort of go you can probably mount it in the back like against the bulkhead which would be a good idea but um i just went for the easiest place out of the way and also near the front of the car so you can get the maximum loudness for people that you want to annoy <laughs> As I said before, I don't want to annoy any of the neighbours, so I'm not going to use it here. So I'll take it somewhere else and I'll show you some clips of it now. Hopefully in the middle of nowhere enough. There's actually a Uniwog over there. It's pretty cool. And yeah, so we're just going to test out the horn, show you what it's like. And yeah. It's quite a strange pitch, but it's about four times, five times louder than the old one. So yeah, happy with that. And now I'll send you back. So yeah, it's pretty loud. Uh, I was actually a little bit worried it'd be too loud to like just toot people when you're going past thanking people, but I did it earlier. If you give it a too short blast, it's very sort of jolly, but still loud. <laughs> if you held it down, then you can definitely tell someone off for doing something bad. So that's also good. Slightly more deserved of this sort of truck to have a horn like that. A few people I know definitely need some new ones as well. So yeah, check that out. You probably can get it elsewhere online potentially. Yeah, it's a ring twin horn for a lorry. So yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, today, pretty simple video. Sorry about that, but just wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm doing at the moment. Pretty easy install on here. Sorry, I didn't actually show you the details of how to install that, but you know, you can install it where you want and it's pretty easy. There's actually instructions online. Hope you enjoyed it today and I'll uh, see you next time.